As an account administrator, there are countless ways to customize your Zoom account to best fit the needs of your organization. In this video, we'll cover a few settings that admins may want to know. From your Zoom web portal, go to the admin section in the left-hand navigation menu and click Account Management, then Account Settings. Tabs will appear for each Zoom solution your account utilizes, where you can manage their settings. Webinar settings can be found in the left navigation menu. Account level settings that you choose here will apply to all user settings. This means when a setting is switched on or off by an admin, the setting will be turned on or off for all individual user accounts as the default. However, users can still change it in their personal accounts, unless the setting is locked by the admin. Locking a setting means that users cannot change the setting. Under security settings, you can enable waiting rooms for the account, which means that by default, all meeting participants will be held in a virtual room until the host allows them in. You'll see some additional options for waiting rooms, meeting passcode, as well as groups of settings related to who can join meetings. For example, you can block users in specific domains or only allow authenticated users to join. Because waiting rooms, passcodes, and user authentication are among Zoom's most powerful security options, you can require that all meetings are secured with at least one of these features. Next, we'll take a look at some settings for scheduling meetings. Have you ever joined a meeting and didn't expect your camera will be on already? That's because the admin can enable the setting so that the meetings start with the participant's video on. However, if it is unlocked, users can disable the setting so their participants can have a moment to adjust their cameras. Another setting you can configure here is to allow participants to join before the host. Enable the setting if you don't mind your participants interacting before the host joins. Finally, we'll go over some of the in-meeting basic settings. Many of these dictate how participants interact during a meeting or webinar. For example, enable or disable in-meeting chat or specify who can send chats to whom. Or enable or disable polls, quizzes, screen sharing, annotation, and more. To enable settings for breakout rooms, virtual backgrounds, and additional webinar settings, check out the in-meeting advanced section. Some of these features are only available to users with certain types of licenses. If you have basic users on the account, they may not be able to access certain options regardless of the account settings. Zoom account settings allow you to configure what works best for your organization. Go ahead and explore all of the settings on your own. Bye for now.